Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, the DigiBreeder here. Welcome to another exciting review of the one and only Rooster Teeth Productions Ruby Season, well, I get it, you say. Volume 5, Chapter 5. Mumbo number 5! Okay, that was kind of weird, I don't know why I brought that up. But anyways, this uh, chapter, this week's chapter of Ruby, well, first of all, it's a very simple chapter with a very simple premise so i will get to that like right away so very quick this review probably will not be very long because when it comes to this episode uh this chapter episode whatever well here's the thing about it but I, the thing is that basically this episode is dialogue heavy meaning that it is dialogue heavy so if you're not a big fan of that so basically all this episode is is just conversation heavy so we have the first part which is Blake and Son. Then we have the second portion, which is Ruby and Oscar, and then finally the brothers with Ilya. So let's go on with the first conversation, and that is with between Blake and Son. And what Blake really basically is saying is that she's describing every individual under characteristics and their traits, etc. Um, so we got that going on, and then also she goes into depth on explaining about Adam and how Adam is this is this individual, or you know. It used to be somewhat a friend, but in reality, she learns the truth that he is the kind of person who will break somebody down, like literally break them down to a mental state where they technically have to, you know, forced to make this ridiculous decision. Like this guy is, in other words, he's just mentally insane. Like this dude, like basically, especially the very end of the episode that we find out that Adam wants to slaughter Blake's fucking family. I'm like, what? So, we have that going on. So, that's at the very end. So, I'll get to that in a second. So, the first thing is, and you know, that's pretty much what we got. Granted, when it comes to the conversations in hand, like the way she's explaining Adam and, um, oh shit, what? And, uh, Shelly and what the, um, uh, Ill, 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 Illy, I'm sorry, Illy, or I think that's her name, Illy, yeah. So basically, you know, she's like saying like, the because she's kind of undecisive. Like, it's rather she actually wants to help out Blake and not like basically, you know, like do anything more harmful than good. Like, in other words, she wants to make the people believe that the right path is for the White Fangs to unite and actually help out against this war um, against, you know, Raven and them, etc. So, you know, we have that. So, you know, to gather and join forces with the humans. Like, instead of, a, instead of just, like, separating themselves from the humans, they would, you know, she is trying to somewhat be on that side, but at the same time, not really. She still feels that feel of doubt that, oh, why should we side with the humans? Like, this is ridiculous. I, you know, she's that kind of girl. So, she's deciding on that. Well, the brothers are saying, like, look, don't worry. You know, look, you know, we're just going to do what we can. Like, you know, the thing is that you're now don't get me wrong that your family's pretty good. However, you're friends with Blake and their side of the family is a little different. They're going to try to persuade the people to believe otherwise, etc, etc. So that's no. So she didn't know the true part that in reality, like she wants Blake alive, but the rest of the family get the fuck out so obviously she wants or let's see <laughs> yo straight up he wants to actually do that and that's pretty much part of his plan but we said let's get around there let's go to the second part which is a little talking moment with ruby and oscar and i gotta say when it comes to oscar of uh, him asking this person uh this question is like yo am i really ready for this am i ready to form with ozpin Am I ready? Am I really ready to fuse? Am I really am I really ready to actually become this person that I've never been before or whatever? It's like, you know, don't forget I have family too. I have family, I have loved ones. Like, how is this even gonna work? I mean, in in short terms, pretty soon Ospin will take over everything and I won't be myself anymore. And then Ruby's trying to pretty much explain that, look, you know, I understand how you feel. 
but I have to keep on fighting. I have to keep on living for the ones that I lost. So she's talking about, you know, obviously. Because don't forget, she's lost a couple friends. She's lost Pyrrha and she's lost Penny. Let's not forget that. So, but in reality though, I really wish John could have been there as well because obviously he's the one that needs more development. So yes, I did see TV's review and I do agree with him on that. That yes, Juan should have been the one to actually talk to Ospin. I'm just saying. Because that would be good. It'd be a lot better because I think for him, especially for us, you know, for people who like Sean, should be able to get the development that he particularly needs. But instead it was Ruby, which I can understand. So pretty much, you know, just talking about, you know, I wish I could spend more time with them. I wish I could have done all these things that I regret, etc. etc. So she has her regrets. But the one thing she will do is keep getting stronger. And the more stronger to protect those certain individuals or people so she won't lose any of her friends again so that's pretty much her determination and that's pretty much it for this episode yeah obviously this review is much more shorter because while it did progress some things like this really big insane reveal on batshit insane adam and what he wants to do I mean, overall, I guess uh, I was going to give it like an okay, okay plus, because honestly, I mean, that's all it really was at the end, but at the same time, I would say maybe, uh, you know what, I'll still give it an okay, uh, three out of five the most, so the episode overall was just okay, it was a three out of five, or I could give it a 3.5 to make it decent, but not as much, probably just a three out of five, sadly, just an okay 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 plus maybe i could have given a 3.5 for okay plus to decent episode but i think i'll just stick with the three you know what you know what less confusion just make it a three out of five aka okay episode let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of this week's chapter of ruby if you see it on youtube if you're a rooster team don't spoil me anything about chapter six because i'm waiting for that but until then that's basically it uh don't forget to rate comment and subscribe as always do not forget to click that bell to join the squad boys to get the video notifications. Follow my social media plugins and gamer tags as well. Peace, soul, love, chicken grease, and the sky is the limit. And my manga fans, keep supporting me to watch you watch. I'll see you guys next week for Chapter 6. Also, since by that time Chapter 6 comes out, you know, I hope you guys have a very awesome and safe, especially safe and very... Um, happy Thanksgiving to all you who pretty much somewhat celebrate, I guess. You know, eat lots of turkey, gobble gobble, eat a lot of that. You know, eat all that good shit. And, you know, just, you know, drink your ass off and just enjoy that day pretty much. So, yeah, just giving that little holiday greeting before I leave. Since, obviously, by that week, by the time it comes, Thanksgiving will be over. So, yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much it. So, later. Bye-bye.